In today's video, I'm gonna go over this maxi scope that I picked up because I have the MS908S Pro and I don't have a lot of experience with the scope. I'm pretty much like a beginner when it comes to a scope. By purchasing this, I'm gonna play around and uh, hopefully I can get good at it or good enough in order to be able to diagnose a car, you know, check communication lines. But uh, like I said, very beginner when it comes to using the scope. The reason why I went with this one and not a Pico is because I am a mobile tech. So I'm always on the move and I cannot keep a PC uh, and also all these other equipment. So this just makes it easier because it just hooks up to the hotel scanner that I have. And this is the scope brain. That's that right there hooks up to the to the hotel scan tool. We have a couple 20 to 1 attenuators, which we can use when uh, we're doing secondary injection or on when, or when we're doing relative compression because the voltage will spike up over 100 volts and we can only go to 100 volts directly, otherwise we'll fry the oscilloscope. Here's the cable that we use to hook up to the scan tool. And these are all made by Handtech, all these components on this Autel. Um, they are pretty cheap stuff. A lot of people say online that these cables will give you a lot of noise. But like I said, I'm a beginner. I just, uh, I'm not doing anything crazy, too, too crazy. So I'll probably upgrade those later down the line. And here we have all four of the Pro. So channel one, two, three and four um they're in no order so you kind of just use them as needed and we got these connectors probably looks like for camshafts or something like that that we can use and uh pretty basic uh, alligator clips we got couple small clamps if we want to just attach the, the power and ground and then we have some back probing tools right here and these also for the meter i'll turn my scanner on and we will connect the scanner to that so we could use the maxi scope right here. I'm gonna take this and hook it up to the scanner. So we're gonna take this end and hook it up to the USB port right here. Take the other end and put it on the meter like that. And the light will start flashing. That's how we know that it's hooked up. And we can you know, if, depending on how many channels we're using, we can turn each of them on individually. So I'm going to hook up one channel. I open up the probe. This is the probe we're going to use. And these ones are not color coded. A lot of them are. If you went with the Pico, I believe all of them are uh, color coded. So for right here, we there's notches on top of this like that get you a good look so like that and then we're going to twist this like that and it will lock in place so it doesn't come out and with this end we're pretty much ready to to check a signal on the car this is going to be a little bit of a mess but bear with me so i have an alligator clip which i'm going to hook up right there it's going to look like that so this red back probing tool i want to Hook this up to the cable. Okay, let me let me do it to end. So I have this hooked up. My negative is on the left side. This is my positive. So I'm gonna touch this to that. And I set a trigger of five volts. And we can see a constant 12 volts up there. Or uh, 12 and 12.6 probably up there 
All right. So I'm gonna try to get a signal from one of these lines. I have the ignition on right now. <clears throat> I'm back probed into this. That's a power wire. And then it looks like it's a signal and a couple grounds. So that's my oscilloscope there. Let's see what these other ones are. We got a zero there. So maybe that's when we start the car. Turn the trigger off. Okay, so right there, we're averaging 2.4 volts. So I don't know if this is a can line. I haven't looked at the diagram for this. <clears throat> uh, considering the voltage, it's either a five volt ref or it's, um, it's a can line. But for right now, I'm just trying to get some signals. So that looks like a good solid signal. This one should be ground. That one is yeah, 10 millivolts, so that should be a grounded wire. This one, 3.2 volts. And then we have one more. nine millivolts and when it's like this because it's a, a small interval we gotta drop this time to get a little bit more of a better so we can pause this and I don't know okay so the zoom feature you just grab it with both and you kind of can Go back and forth and take a look at that signal, see if there's a drop somewhere, you know. So pretty, and you can move these right there. Pretty neat, guys. So I'm gonna practice using this oscilloscope and then I'm gonna be making more videos on this in the future. So if you guys would like to see more of this Autel oscilloscope, consider subscribing. I know this video is probably garbage, uh, but like I said, I don't my my experience with oscilloscopes is uh, very minimal. I'm a beginner when it comes to oscilloscopes, so it's gonna take some getting used to. It's definitely not the easiest thing to get used to. There's a lot there. It's a uh, it's very advanced, but I will get used to it and if you guys want to see more of this consider subscribing and thank you for watching this uh, horrible video